Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Apple's March Patch Day. Today I'm going to do a very, very quick video just to let you know that this week Apple released a whole bunch of security updates for almost all of their operating system products, Safari, and also their Office packages. So basically if you have an Apple TV, an iPhone, an iPad, an Apple computer, or even an Apple Watch, you want to go and get these security updates as soon as possible because they fix a number of flaws including a few codecs execution vulnerabilities. Overall, it's a pretty typical Apple patch day. The only kind of unusual update was one for their productivity packages like pages and numbers and so forth. Uh, they do release updates for those packages, of course. They just don't seem to have updates as regularly as the OSs do. So if you are an Apple user, the easiest way to deal with patches is just to let the operating system download and install them automatically for you. While I have you, here's a quick unrelated update to a previous video. Uh, last week I had a video where I talked about how the US Congress voted to remove a regulation that would have uh, made ISPs inform users and get their consent before selling their information to advertisers. At the time, this had just passed a vote in the U.S. Senate, but this week it also passed a vote in the U.S. House. So this means the only thing holding this regulation from being removed is the signature from the U.S. President. In short, it looks more and more likely that this rule will be removed, meaning ISPs can continue to sell user data without asking for user consent. So I just want to warn you, if you're a U.S. citizen, this is something you need to think about. Again, there are security ramifications to external parties knowing too much about you, even if you're not embarrassed by the things you can do. My main worry with this data is if it gets in the wrong hands, like criminals doing spear phishing, they now have easy ways to target their attacks to you. Now there's not a lot of simple things you can do to hide your data from your ISP. Uh, if you're a technical person, you can certainly use private VPNs. However, do know this isn't going to change the ethics of some ISPs. Some ISPs may still offer opt-out mechanisms. In short, if you're concerned about this, you should contact your ISP and see what kind of opt-out mechanisms are available today and might be available in the future as well. Anyway, if you're an Apple user, be sure to patch. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.